Hey everybody, this is KRGNN and we're doing another figure review and this is from Star Wars Black Series Transported from Star Wars Galaxy Edge Training Outposts and this is the Target exclusive R5P8 and this is Hano's droid that pretty much helps him out for anything But yeah, so this is, uh, this is supposed to be a Target exclusive um, this is really cool. Now this is Burley actually standing his shelves already since the last couple of weeks. I uh, I got my actually got lucky and fortunate to pre-order this on Target website. And yeah, so pretty much spoiler, that's pretty much how I got it. <laughs> of course, I'll tell you again in the end of the video how much and where I got it. Even I already did. So again, this is a uh, pretty much PR uh no PR. Oh yeah, right, PR. Dude, it literally says right here, man. It's R5 P8. And uh, honestly, I don't remember him in Star Wars Rebels. He probably did come out, maybe briefly, I don't remember. But I have been to the Galaxy Edge and I have been to the Million Falcon ride and he does come out on that I guess pre pre show scene where he's with Hondo and you do see him. He does look really cool, so I'm happy I got him. Um again I will tell you the price and how much I got him at the end of the video. A little dirty, but yeah, I'm happy. I actually got this today. I was really happy about this. So let's get a better look and open this baby up. Oh, that's it, guys. Uh, there is no extra accessories that comes with this thing. Um, so right away, uh, this is taking my first ever Black Series like small droid. I have the you know like the battle droids, and I have the you know other actual you know body physical droids. But like this one, Teddy's my first one. It's cool. Uh, it's right away it has that rotating thing that I remember that the old Hasbro toys had. That's really cool. So if you just want him to be standing like that, like that, he looks like not that bad. Um, yeah, and then pretty much you just whoop, do it the opposite way and make sure, because sometimes it, if you messed up, it does do the grinding a little. Um, his articulation pretty much, you guys can see that goes all the way. He has a little bit, like kind of like an ankle privilege kind of thing right there, a little. As much as a droid can do. Uh, he does have about six little, like, long wheels, you could say. And this one does also have the articulation of do like that. He does, his head does spin, but does also, you know, mess with, around with this. Um, kind of like that a little. <laughs> so, but yeah. Uh, you know what I noticed right away is that this color is, is like too bright compared to the body. Uh, I know, uh, Disney came out with a die cast one and that one has more nicer look to it because the whole thing is die cast. So the paint, I guess it looks better on the metal, but this one, I don't know. Like the, this is a little off. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me put this closer so you guys can see. Maybe cause it's too bright, but maybe there. But yeah, so uh, like I was I was saying earlier, um, it does have the cool uh, weathering. Weathering on this is not that bad, but I think I'm definitely gonna weather it a little bit more. Uh, it seems like it's um, it's not bad, but it's just, it's also not that good. <laughs> you could say uh, it's kind of just like very easily. Whoop! I'm gonna tip the. It's just very easily painted, and I think they could have done a little bit better with the weathering. I think so. I'm definitely gonna weather it a little bit more. Uh, so let's do a size comparison. You guys want to see what we have, you know size comparison? And here's a here's a comparison to the Disney well Disneyland Halloween special droid. Like I think it was 2019. And uh, right the way you can tell I weathered that one. But yeah, this this technically those droids are smaller. But just to show you the Black Series and then the Disney Holiday Special version, all the ones that you built yourself when you go to Galaxy, well not Galaxy Edge, I'm sorry, when you go to Tomorrowland and that this uh, that uh, Star Wars store, you can build your own figure, droid actually, and pretty much that's the size. Now again, this one I actually weather it myself. Uh, this this show size comparison to actually a Black Series droid, and here's a size comparison to an actual battle droid. It's also a Black Series figure. And that's another one I decided to weather myself also. <laughs> you guys want to see that. The weathering is not that bad. I just weather it. That's all I did. The, I kept the... I actually added a little bit more silver scratches to it a little bit. 
but it's not bad. So this is actually how they'll be with it right next to each other. Um, so yeah, that's it. All right, so that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. So let's talk about the good and the bad and where I got it, how much. Uh, the only little complaint I have is that uh, the weathering, it's kind of lacking a little. And in this, this plastic, compared to this plastic, is like the color's way off. It's really bright. Now, this is something me is easily fix fixable. I can probably weather it, make it a little bit darker, more dirtier. And that's it. So it's a really silly complaint. Uh, but that's just it for that. Um, but other that, it's really cool. I really do like droids that's one of the things i love about Star Wars is all those crazy droids and this is must to have if you're if you're, you're a huge fan of hondo to add to his collection i know there is a lot i know the black series hondo galaxy edge figure is very rare now to find um so you guys want to know where and how much i got it i got this directly from target's website and i pre-ordered on october 18 uh i paid about 24.99 and in $5.99 shipping, so in total tax and everything, came out to like $33.99. That's a little pricey for a Black Series figure, especially a droid. Um, and I, uh, so like I said, I, I pre-ordered it October 18, and I literally got it today, October 8.28. So that's really cool. It went online really fast, and I, I have a feeling it already sold out. Um, so they're already hitting, they're already hitting Target stores already uh, for the last week or two. I think I've been seeing on, on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, they, uh, so they are out, but they're going to be very hard to find because it's still, it's something new. Everything, when it comes to Star Wars, anything new, you're not going to find it for the next couple of three, three to four, three weeks to a four a month, you know, scalpers. Yeah. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, uh, it's a really cool droid. I um, there's this one. I know there's uh, Disney Disney stores has the diecast one. I seen the diecast one. It looks has a really nice paint looks to it, and it's better. It's bigger and heavier and diecast. So if you can't get the this ver, you know you can't get this version. You also get that one. But if you have the Lon the Hondo, you want to be accurate size, and I get it. Why you want this one? Uh, uh, I'm very happy to have this to my collection. I'm slowly building up all my droids collection of different stuff. Um, just keep that in mind. It's gonna be it's gonna be really hard right now to find it. Uh, there's a chance it may come down, but not. I don't know because Hondo is already. It's supposedly is already a rare toy to find. I heard that's crazy, but yeah. So uh, I'm happy I got this. Um, it's a really cool toy. It's a really cool toy. Uh, I hope if you're, you hope you who you know who was looking for it, really does get it, find it. Um, this is KRGN signing out, and keep collecting and adios.